Hey everybody, so I have some really sad news today. Michael Brooks has passed away, and this is something that hits me really hard. It's definitely very unexpected. Um, he's someone that has had a very large impact in terms of my political beliefs and the way that I talk about politics, and is just overall someone that I really look up to. And so what I wanted to do is kind of talk about uh, a little bit about Michael Brooks and why he has been so influential towards me. Um, so just to start, um, I've always been really passionate about foreign policy. But before encountering Michael Brooks, I would say the extent of my dreams for where I wanted U.S. foreign policy to go was just to end the wars. And I, I was almost like an isolationist where I just didn't, didn't, didn't want any more wars. Um, I just didn't dream any bigger than that, I guess, I guess would be the way to say it. But then when I discovered Michael Brooks and started watching his videos, um, he opened up this whole new world, it felt like, where it, it, it was just, I mean, at first I was just floored by his knowledge when it came to foreign policy. I mean, this guy, I, I don't think that I've ever listened to someone that is as knowledgeable about foreign policy as Michael Brooks. I mean, we're talking about African politics, Latin American politics, Middle Eastern politics, Asian politics, how they all interwork together, like specific stuff within different countries. This guy knew it all. This guy had, had the most functional knowledge of foreign policy that I'd ever witnessed. And it's just so cool to listen to, so informational, so just, I mean, you would watch like a seven minute, seven minute segment of the Michael Brooks show and you would walk away from it feeling like you learned, you, you learned some stuff right there. This, this is someone that carried a lot of knowledge in his brain and, um, it, it was something, but not just, you know, the, the things that he knew, but like the substance of what he was saying and the things that he was advocating for. I mean, he's talking about like building this like international left-wing movement where like countries are working together and ba ba basically the like the next step like okay we end the wars then the next step after that he, he was thinking bigger he was thinking of international global politics and how it can work together for bringing justice for all people basically and it was it, it was it was something i'd never heard about before i mean this guy i mean he opened up the door to me to so many other figures also like just like historical figures modern day figures i mean lula da silva many times i mean it almost became like like a meme how much michael brooks talked about lula it was um lula was someone that michael brooks really really looked up to and it just um it makes me so incredibly happy that he was able to meet lula and interview him and i mean you can just see from the from the picture that uh it, it was a very very happy day for michael brooks this is this is someone that he idolized um I mean, you know, Lula's a great guy. I, but I know that because of Michael Brooks. But I mean, not just Lula this summer. I mean, Pepe Mujica, if we're talking about, like, um, historical figures. I mean, Thomas Sankara, uh, Patrice Lumumba. This, like, I had never heard of these people. I had never, nobody had talked about, like, these, like, figures. That, But then Michael Brooks opened the door for me personally. And I know that he pulled a lot of people to the left. I know that a lot of people know about Lula because of Michael Brooks. I mean, Anna Kasparian is someone that has said that Michael Brooks had a huge impact on her. Um, the Humanist Report is also is another person that has said that he had a very, very large impact. Um, the, getting pulled to the left because of Michael Brooks. I mean, he just... I'm just... I mean, I, to, the, to this day, I am still just dumbfounded by how much he knew and, and i just always i mean i know that he always got like people asking him for like book recommendations and stuff because they're like how do you know so much stuff i mean just truly remarkable i highly recommend i mean google michael brooks whatever country historical figure whatever you you want to know about like you, you can probably find a segment of him talking about it and it you will you will learn something new probably um but not just that not just the knowledge he was also a very very funny guy i mean this is someone um some of my favorite moments and like listening to anything would be like a majority report segment where it'd be sam cedar on the phone with some like libertarian caller and you know it's just michael brooks is dying in the background dying of laughter i mean he had the most distinct laugh and it was just so pure and so sincere and like it was just such a such a genuine laugh and it was just constant he would be laughing all the time and it was just such a such a contagious laugh that would make you laugh like you'd hear him start to laugh and you yourself would start to crack up um but not only that i mean when it came to impressions i mean his dave rubin impression hilarious his obama impression hilarious his bill clinton impression hilarious and it, it 
so many other impressions. Um, just a really, really funny guy. I, I, I can't overstate that. And, 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 and the, he could blend like his, his immense knowledge of politics with humor to just something that you've never seen before. I mean, it's just so, so, so amazing. Um, and just, I, I would just, I, I want to be hopeful. I want to be positive because that's the kind of guy that Michael Brooks was. I mean, he taught me to dream bigger when it came to foreign policy, when it came to domestic policy as well. He's definitely really pulled me to the left. And uh, I think that that's the impact he had on a number of people. You will, you will, if you listen to people talking about the impact that Michael Brooks had on them, that is, that is not an uncommon story. Um, let I, I, I think the fight, the fight continues. He, the fight that he was after, it continues. He has just touched so many lives. And I am so thankful that I, that, that, that I got to listen to him at all. This is, this is just an amazing person. And I'm heartbroken that he is no longer with us. But the, the fight goes on. And just, I thank, thank you, Michael Brooks. That's, I, that, that's all I can say on that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've never heard about Michael Brooks before, um, please go look him up. Watch some of his videos. This is a remarkable human being. And so I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day.